Hi there, this is Julie Larson with Cloud Bloomers Web Design and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to clean out your Gmail inbox using labels and filters. So first of all, this is what my current inbox looks like and it hasn't looked like this in quite some time. Uh, about a month ago I had over 7,000 emails in here that, and I've just in the last 30 days have gone through, sorted, organized. It didn't take me 30 days to do it, but I just did it here and here and then when I had a few minutes. So let me show you how I did that. I'm logged in here now to an, a Gmail account that I don't use. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change all these tabs, okay? Right now it's showing that I've got 45 uh, unopened emails in my inbox but I really don't like all these tabs so I'm going to come over here to settings and I'm going to go to configure inbox and I'm just going to have it so I've got one uh, inbox without all those other tabs okay so now when I did that it actually shows that I've got 211 unopened emails in this account uh, which would make sense because I don't ever use it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I am going to um, create a label. Let's say I wanted to save all this YouTube stuff, okay? And um, I want to file it away, but I don't want it in my inbox anymore. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on one of the uh, YouTube emails and I'm kind of going to come up here over to more and click on filter messages like these and what it does is it brings up um, all the YouTube emails okay and it looks like there's uh, well there's more than 20 I'm not sure if it's 45 or, or more but I'm going to click over here and select and then I'm going to Actually, I'm going to create a filter because any future YouTube emails that come in, I want them to already be labeled. So I'm going to create the filter and I go down here to create filter with this search. And I don't have a YouTube label yet, so I'm going to click on apply the label. If I had the label, I would just uh, click on which label I wanted to apply it to but I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call it YouTube and if I want to nest it under a different uh, folder or file or label whatever you want to call it I could do that maybe I wanted to put it under uh, work okay uh, I can do that or I can just have it on its own in a label over to the left so I'm going to go ahead and create that filter whoops before I do that, I'm going to come over here and, it, and also apply filter to matching conversations. Okay, so I've got a new label. It's YouTube. And I'm going to nest it under work and then create. Okay, and it also, I guess it would have let me check that there. So I'm going to go ahead and create the filter. And now I'm going to come back here again and click on filter messages like these and you'll see that now instead of just having the inbox uh, label on it it's got the the work and then YouTube label alright so I am going to go ahead and select all and when it selects all it's only selecting all that are showing up on this page and then in order to remove the inbox label I'm going to click archive and it's going to take them out of my inbox and put them in the YouTube okay now I want to go to the next batch because there's more than what is showing up here and I'm going to select all and I'm going to once again archive them looks like there's some more so I'm going to go ahead and come over here and again select all and I'm going to archive them and select all and archive 
you can notice the counter here of unopened e emails is going down. Um, I'm going to continue until I've got them all. Select all and then archive. Okay, we're down to the last of the list. Select all and then archive. Okay, so I've brought it my inbox now down from 100 and or 211 unopened to 109. Um, let me go through here. Let me do the. Let's see how many are in the Google Analytics. Okay, so I'm gonna come up here. I chose the Gmail. I'm gonna come up here and filter messages like these. Create a filter with this search, and I'm gonna call this one. A new label, Google Analytics. And again, I'm going to filter that one and put it under the work folder. Create, and then it's telling me that there's uh, 10 matching conversations, so I'm going to apply that filter to those as well. Create the filter, and then I have to come back up here again and go to filter messages like these so it will pull them all again and then I'm going to select all and I want to take them out of my inbox and then archive them into my new Google Analytics folder okay and there was only the 10 so I'm now I'm down to 99 unopened in my email uh, inbox and so what should okay here's from the Google Plus alright so let me go ahead and just um, create another filter filter messages like these create filter with the search and I'm gonna create a new label once again because I don't have one this is not an email box that I an email address that I use so I'm gonna come to new label and call it Google Plus and then I'm going to again put that under work if it was a personal one I could have a personal folder and then also apply filter to matching conversations create filter and then I have to come back again filter messages like these I'm gonna select all I wanna get them out of my inbox and archive them into the Google Plus folder okay so now there's still more so let me come over here a few more okay I'll select all those and then go ahead and archive them and you can see how I am uh, I've gone from 211 to uh, 72 here and at any time if I want to um, go down to my work file or my work folder maybe I want to go back and pull something up from YouTube I can go back and find it that way I can also um, always do a search so I can search all mail I can search just what's in my inbox I can search sent mail and I can search it multiple ways I can search it uh, if it was from YouTube I would put that in that Gmail or excuse me that email address in there or if there if it had a particular subject or even if it just had some words a word or words that uh, I remembered and I wanted to search it that way and so then I usually do a search um, if I knew it was in the last week I would search one week and then it would um, bring it one week you could actually put a date one week uh, before and after a certain date or if it was just in the last week I would just put leave it as one week okay so let me come back over here and um, the other thing is um, let's see if there's anything that I subscribed to doesn't look like, like I subscribed to this one it looks like they probably just sent me um, some spam maybe um, if there's something that you subscribe to and you don't want to receive anymore go ahead and unsubscribe from it but then also filter it and then instead of archiving it you can just trash it 
Okay, let me come up over to this Google AdWords. And I'm going to filter messages like these. Let's say I don't really, I just don't need them or I don't want them anymore. So I can just select all and go ahead and just delete them or send them to the trash. The other thing, see how they are marked trash now? Okay, so now I'm down to 63. The other thing is I can come over to the trash and I maybe I want to um, select all and I want to delete forever. I think it's a good idea to delete the stuff out of your trash too because otherwise it's just kind of sitting over there. Um, let's get rid of the spam. Okay, and then once you've narrowed it down, you know, once you've got it down and you've got the things that have a lot of bulk stuff, um, let me go ahead and filter these. Okay, so I don't really want to keep these. I trash them. I'm down to 55. Uh, Google Plus Team, I'm going to go ahead and filter those. I'm going to select all, trash, and then there's three more. I'm going to select all. I don't want to archive them, but I want to trash them. Okay, so I'm down to 33. Then you can go to the individual ones. If, um, if James Henderson was somebody that I wanted to have a folder on, then I could go ahead and create a filter or um, a, a folder or a label, I guess, and um, have him over here. So, but that's not the case, so I am going to go ahead and delete that one. I'm going to go back over to my trash one more time and it filled up very quickly. Select all, delete forever, and I'm going to go back to my inbox and I'm down to 32. So we started out with 212. Uh, it's almost, uh, looks like 13 minutes later, and we are down to 32. Okay, hope that was helpful. Thanks. Bye.